What's holding you back from being a successful investor? No, it's okay. I'll wait. No, go ahead and say it out loud. I've never been much of a mind reader, but I can almost guarantee that it's either time, money, or knowledge. And trust me, in this video, I will help you obliterate all these excuses and give you a strategy to overcome these obstacles. Stick around until the end of the video where I'll reveal the single biggest contributor to investors falling short of their goals. Hey, what's up? Darren Voros here. My mission is to help a thousand people create over a million dollars of net worth with real estate investing. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. As a mentor, real estate coach, and trainer, I hear new investors, and sometimes even seasoned ones, explain to me what is holding them back in real estate. You name it, and I've probably heard it. I can't be a real estate investor, or I'm struggling with real estate investing because, and then, insert your favorite excuses. But these are simply barriers that most investors are placing on themselves. I truly believe that if you wanna be a successful real estate investor, you have the ability to do so. But as Henry Ford so famously said, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right. So let me break down the three most common barriers to success with real estate investing. Number one, I don't have the time or it's not the right time. This is very common with busy individuals who believe that they can't fit real estate investing into their daily life. I would challenge that to say that we make time for the things in our life that are a priority. Also, whoever said you have to spend a ton of time on your real estate investing? Yes, if you wanna be flipping properties or burring properties, that's going to require significant time and energy, especially if you wanna manage those projects. But there are plenty of other ways to be a real estate investor and see similar returns as an active investor, but remain on the passive side and contribute a lot less time. The irony of this is that the ultimate goal for many investors is to spend as little time as possible on their portfolios and still make healthy returns. So if this is your starting point, use that to your advantage. Set up your systems and keep asking yourself a simple question. How can I make a higher return and spend as little time as possible doing so? I get it, this all sounds great, but if I have very very little time to invest in my portfolio, what can I actually do to earn decent returns? If you're crunched for time, here are a couple of my favorite strategies you can use. Private lending is a great way to earn solid returns with very little time invested. For those of you not familiar with private lending, it's pretty simple. You are acting as the bank. Someone's going to borrow money from you, they're gonna pay you an interest rate, and you're gonna secure that money against a tangible asset. Another option for the time deprived is land development. Not taking on a land development project because that is going to take a ton of time, but instead investing with a developer on the passive side. There's also apartment syndication. You can invest passively with someone who is actively pursuing apartment buildings. These investments usually have a cash flow or dividend element to them, and you can participate in the upside of the value increase as well. The beauty of private lending, land development, and apartment syndication is that they are usually RRSP and TFSA eligible, so they can be very passive with little or no time invested, and you can earn returns inside of a tax-free or tax-deferred environment. The other option is a joint venture partnership, but I'll get into that just a little bit later. The other time factor that I mentioned was that you may feel it's not the right time for you. I can tell you from years of experience that the most common regret investors have once they get into real estate investing is they wish they had started earlier. There isn't going to be a beacon of light that shines down on you and a voice from above that says, now is your time to be a real estate investor. It just doesn't work that way. And again, we can make all the excuses in the world for why the timing might not be right, but if it's a priority for you, you'll figure it out. Number two, I don't have any money. I'm sure you've heard the expression, you have to have money to make money. And this is absolutely true, but it doesn't have to be your own money. There are all kinds of strategies within real estate investing that don't require you to bring any money to the table. Strategies like wholesaling, sandwich lease options, and short-term rental rentals are a few that are very effective. They each require a longer explanation, but I can assure you there are ways to make money in these strategies without having any of your own capital invested. Another great way to make money as a real estate investor if you don't have any money is to pursue vendor takebacks or seller financing on a property. This is when the seller of the property will hold financing for you. And of course, there's always joint venture partnering. There are two parties generally in a joint venture partnership, the working partner and the money partner. The working partner is usually responsible for putting the transaction together and dealing with the day-to-day -day and ongoing operations. These are people who often don't have any money or don't want to invest a lot of money into a transaction, so they're willing to provide their expertise or their time in exchange for someone else putting up the dollars needed to put the transaction together. If you're willing 
willing to put in time and energy and expertise, there's always going to be someone else who wants to contribute dollars but does not want to contribute time to the transaction. Like the investors I mentioned in point one who have very little time. If you're unfamiliar with any of the strategies I just mentioned, you can check out the description below where I'll leave a link to all the videos I've done in the past on these subjects. Number three is a lack of knowledge. Which market should I be investing in? Which strategy should I be using? Is the market going to crash? These are all relatively similar concerns in that there's a lack of knowledge and therefore a hesitation to invest in real estate. The good news is that all these barriers can be overcome with one relatively simple fix, education. If you're properly educated about how to analyze the market, which strategy will work best for you, and how we can use the past indicators to predict the future, this will help you overcome your knowledge barrier. There is a caveat to this, which is that education is not enough. Education without action will yield no results. Coincidentally, action without education is sometimes worse. So if knowledge is the barrier, then focus on your education. There are so many great resources out there to improve your education, and many of them are free. This YouTube channel, for instance, where you get a new video every Tuesday. They're a great podcast. You can get all kinds of free eBooks. The list goes on and on. When you are ready to start investing in your education, which you will inevitably have to do if you want to grow or if you want to grow quickly, there are all kinds of great books, seminars, courses, and groups to be a part of. My advice when it comes to paid education within real estate investing is to start out with something more affordable. And as you build your knowledge base, take the earnings and reinvest in your education. Time for a shameless plug. If you're interested in investing in your education to expedite your journey, I offer a series of courses that you can sign up for on my website. I also offer a free masterclass webinar that I'll link in the description below. There's one more major element that holds most investors back and that is confidence. You may have the right education, enough time, and enough money to be a successful real estate investor, but if you don't have the confidence to pull the trigger on a transaction, it will be incredibly difficult to make any money. To get past your confidence problem, I would suggest joining various real estate investing groups, working with a coach, or beefing up your education. This will help you gain the confidence you need to take on whatever your heart desires within real estate investing. Building confidence is similar to building your education. There are so many options, free and paid. To build your confidence, focus your time on surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who are either where you want to go or have similar struggles to you, and collaborate with them. I host a monthly meetup that you can be a part of, which I'll link below as a starting point. To continue your free education, check back here every week when I release a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I post regularly. And if you have any questions for me related to the barriers holding you back from being a successful real estate investor, feel free to leave those in the comments section below and I'll do my best to pump you up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.